I'm Joanne Burkholder. I'm the director of the Center for Applied Aquatic Ecology at North Carolina State University. For the past about 30 years, I have studied water quality problems from freshwaters to marine systems and trying to find good solutions to help take care of our waters better. This research is critically important to people of all ages in the state, although most folks don't realize it, but everybody depends on clean drinking water. It's vitally important to our health, and our research is designed to try to help safeguard especially drinking water supplies in the state. This is an NCSU water quality profiler. Uh, inside it you have a data logger that acquires the data from a water quality sun, and it takes a reading at a discrete depth from about 10 meters to the surface. This is a YSI water quality sonde. This sensor here does dissolved oxygen. This does chlorophyll, phycocyanin, turbidity, and this is a pH, uh, a pH electrode. Over here you have conductivity and a thermistor that does temperature. So there's uh, all of these parameters are acquired by the profiler on the top of the platform. Uh, the importance for this is it helps the city of Raleigh know what type of water and the water quality that's going into their holding ponds at the E.M. Johnson water treatment plant. They have an uh, estimation of uh, how much algae is coming in, the dissolved oxygen, the pH, and all of these parameters help them make decisions on treatment and pretreatment. This organism is Anabana spheroides. It is found in Falls Lake Reservoir along with other potentially toxic cyanobacteria. We're very interested in these organisms because they can cause human health issues. Uh, we can also alert the Raleigh Water Treatment Plant of the presence of these organisms near the intake so that they can adjust where they bring in water to the plant to avoid the confounding effects of the algae. We helped to save the city of Raleigh a lot of money in terms of helping them figure out 24-7 how to economize where the best place is for their intake, um, whether they need certain kinds of filters. This 24-7 safeguard monitoring um, really helps them make more cost-effective decisions. We also work in the triad and are helping the city of High Point. Um, between the two, we're helping safeguard drinking water supplies for about 750,000 people. I would really love to see more and more people understand and care about the need to protect drinking water. It used to be an issue um, in which people cared about fish health and were, were thinking more about the ecosystem and the animals and plants that live in it. Now it's vitally important to human health, all of us, and so I'd really like folks to understand that we all need to be the best stewards we can of these water supplies because people of all ages really could depend on them in their everyday living.